welcome to this uh, very quick tutorial on how to de-squeeze um, anamorphic footage with inside Adobe Media Encoder. Now, if you're like me, I shoot on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and I use the Siru 35mm 1.8 anamorphic lens. Now, now that wedding season is getting quite busy, I'm going to be sending off footage to uh, editors that are sort of in different parts of the country and stuff. So what I always like to do is to create proxies for them so that they can um, edit the footage really quickly and then I can get it back and then retranscode it and put all of the fine finishing touches to it and stuff. Now, the one thing that is... Um, is tricky with anamorphic footage is the fact that it needs to be de-squeezed in post and that can sometimes be a bit tricky in programs like Adobe Premiere that don't natively, unlike DaVinci Resolve, sort of de-squeeze anamorphic footage. So this is just a really quick method of, of de-squeezing that, um, de-squeezing those proxies before they go off. Um, and it's really, really handy because I honestly cannot believe how much Media Encoder is able to sort of reduce the file sizes down of this Blackmagic RAW footage. So we'll have a look at that um, in a minute. So what I've got, I've got Media Encoder open now. Um, I've got some Blackmagic RAW footage in here. Um, I'm using a plugin from Autochroma um, called B-RAW Studio. I think it's called. Um, there's a link in description for that, um, so that Media Encoder can read this Blackmagic raw footage. Okay. So um, this probably would work as well for if you were to shoot in ProRes as well. It's, we're not doing anything with the codec necessarily. We're just looking at the sort of pi pixel aspect ratio and stuff. So, so what you want to do is um, is bring your footage um, into into your queue in Media Encoder. And then what we want to do is set, uh, press Command A, so you can select them all. A really good thing about the new updates to Media Encoder as well is that when you select Command A and make changes to one um, one piece of footage, they all all of them take on the same settings as well. So you don't have to go in one by one and do this, which is really handy and it saves a lot of time. So if you want to, what you want to do is is hover over like where the sort of where it says B raw, not the one underneath it. Okay, so let's do that and click interpret footage. So in this box, what you want to do is come down to pixel aspect ratio, select conform to, and in this drop down, you want to select HD anamorphic 1080 1.333. Please don't worry about the HD element of it, okay? If you shot this in DCI 4K, um, then it's not going to affect the actual resolution necessarily. It's just going to... It, all it's doing is looking at the aspect ratio of the pixels. So it'll actually end up... The, the actual final video size will actually be larger than um, DCI 4K. So please don't worry about that HD, anamorph HD element of it. All it's looking at there is the um, squeeze factor of the anamorphic lens itself. So what you want to do is click that, click OK. Um, obviously, go through and select your um, select your bit rates and stuff for proxies. For Blackmagic Real proxies, I quite like to use medium bit rate because it reduces the sizes down massively. So, um, and that's it. That's all you need to do. And you click. Obviously, click your play window, and it and it exports them all out. So if I bring up ones that I did earlier, um, so as you can see, file sizes have been massively reduced. Um, if I just bring up an example of what that was like beforehand, so that was two point two seven gig before. And it's 22 meg now, <laughs> which is mental. So, um, so as you can see, um, it's been fully de-squeezed, 
um, and um, the as I said, the dimensions five four six one by twenty one sixty. So it's actually larger than DCI four K. So there's nothing to worry about with regards to the HD element of it. Okay. And that's it. So that's all you need to do. And um, it's a really great way of um, getting um, anamorphic proxies off to sort of editors um, and they don't have to faff about with the, um, the de-squeeze element of it. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments and um, yeah, look forward to the next one. Bye.